Over the past year, the war in Ukraine has gone from a multi-front invasion spanning Kyiv in the north to a conflict of attrition concentrated largely along a 600-mile stretch to the east and south. Bakhmut has been at the center of hostilities for months. Russian troops attempted to push the Ukrainian military out of the city, while Ukrainian military commanders said resistance by Ukrainian troops there had prevented Russian troops from intensifying their actions elsewhere. Ukraine says it has repulsed a day of Russian attacks in and around the eastern city which was destroyed on Thursday and gained up to one kilometer in gains in places. The head of the Wagner Group, which led the Russian assault on Bakhmut, said his troops had also advanced up to 400 meters in parts of the city. Servi Cherevity, spokesman for the Eastern Ukraine Group of Forces, said Ukrainian forces continued to advance on the Bakhmut side of town. A video footage shows the Ukrainian armed forces repelling enemy attacks on their positions north of the village of Belogorivka, Donetsk region. The invaders were on their way to attack in infantry fighting vehicles, but these did not come after a direct hit. The BMP stalled and began to burn heavily. Most of the enemy's attack aircraft were already following him by the time the BMP exploded. But having lost fire support and cover, the surviving interventionists withdrew. Another video also shows the artillery of the armed forces of Ukraine with the first shots destroying the Russian invaders' tanks, which were stationed by them in some forest plantations. This was reported by the Telegram channel Operational ZSU by publishing a corresponding video. It is clear that the drone operator found the target, transmitted the precise geodetic coordinates to the gunner, and recorded the result of their work, the direct hit from the first shot. Most likely, this could be achieved exclusively with the extremely accurate American 155mm Excalibur projectile. Therefore, the Soviet 152mm howitzer shown in the video was probably included in the plot just for clarity. Armata. Armata. Ukrainian forces have taken a tactical initiative and made significant tactical advantages around Bakhmut in counterattack operations on Thursday, the Institute for the Study of War said in its latest briefing on the conflict. The limited nature of Wagner's offensive operations in Bakhmut compared to local Ukrainian counterattacks underscores Russia's loss of initiative in the area, said the Washington, D.C.-based think tank. Declaring victory in the blackened ruins of Bakhmut, described by both sides as a meat grinder, would have been Russia's only reward for its massive failed winter offensive elsewhere on the front. Ukraine says its tactic in Bakhmut is to draw Russian troops into the city's urban war, to weaken Russian frontline defenses elsewhere before Ukraine's planned counterattack. On the other hand, a video shows Ukraine destroying a T-64 BV tank from the Russian invaders towards Donetsk. This was reported by aerial reconnaissance from the Birds of Magyar unit, releasing the relevant video footage by the operator of the unmanned aerial vehicle. It was probably destroyed by the American high-precision 155mm Excalibur projectile. Lightly armored multi-purpose tractors are easier to destroy than tanks but not the tiny VOGs dropped by quadcopters. The secret is that these BTLB are loaded with some kind of mine or shell, and they explode from small grenades. After the devastating explosion, only a deep crater remained at the BTLB site. Alexander Sersky, commander of the Ukrainian ground forces, said in a social media message this week that Wagner's troops had climbed into Bakhmut like rats into a mousetrap. The enemy has more resources, but we destroyed his plan, he said. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky praised his troops and the country's air defense amid days of elaborate missile and drone attacks on Kyiv and other cities, most of which were repulsed resulting in the downfall of incoming Russian missiles. Ukrainian authorities claimed to have shot down nearly all of the missiles, 
although the Russian Defense Ministry said it had hit and destroyed all of the targets. While Russian forces still control most of the city, Ukrainian forces have made significant gains north and south of Bakhmut, raising hopes that Kyiv forces might turn the tide of the battle for the eastern city. On the battlefield, Wagner mercenary group leader Yevgeny Prigozhin said it was unlikely Bakhmut would be taken in the next few days. It is unlikely that Bakhmut will be completely taken tomorrow or the day after, Prigozhin said on Telegram late on Thursday, reporting heavy fighting in the southwestern outskirts of the city. Prigozhin recently accused the Russian military of retreating and leaving his men at the mercy of Ukrainian troops in the door-to-door -door fighting raging in and around the town of Bakhmut in Donetsk province. Signaling a rift between Wagner and Moscow, Prigozhin immediately appealed to the Russian Ministry of Defense not to leave positions around the city. The General Staff of the Ukrainian Armed Forces reported on May 20 that Russia had lost 202,430 troops in Ukraine since the start of the full-scale invasion in February 2022, with an estimated 670 casualties as of May 19. The Russian occupiers from the front in Ukraine withdrew two special purpose brigades from the main intelligence directorate of the Russian Armed Forces for recovery in the Kursk border region. The third, which fought near Kremenaya, and the 22nd, which fought in the Zaporizhia region. Secretary of Ukraine's National Security and Defense Council Alexei Danilov said Russia's repeated missile attacks on Kyiv, nine missile strikes so far were a sign of Moscow's desperation. Russia attacked Kyiv's symbolic place because it needed to raise the level of patriotic hysteria in Russia, Danilov wrote in a tweet. In Russia, a process of despair and disillusionment with the authorities is developing against the backdrop of unsuccessful offensives and failures at the front, he added.